Uh, greetings, Sagittarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, tonight, I am starting a reading that I usually don't do readings at night, but I'm thinking this energy is coming over me. And thanks to a comment from one of my Aries followers, and thank you so much, Fiery Aries, for letting me know that you are really tapping into a certain kind of energy frequency that is spilling over into the night. And there is the full moon in Aries coming in the window now. And I wanted to share this with you uh, so you can take this into your dreams. And your ease and grace is coming uh, for you now. And it's going to be fulfilling you with this sense Sagittarius of ease and grace, which you need in the flow of between one hand and the other. One hand washes the other. And so you're really focusing on that energy. And it's flowing because you have a guardian angel over you at this time. And there could be this sense of a halo around you where you feel very protected. So your flow, your energy, your heart, your vibrations, your nervous system can get some ease and grace so it can realign. Um, and that is what's coming in for you. A time, it seems like, of prayer, of peace, of blending, uh, pulling uh, in the energies around you with creativity that comes calmly, slowly, with ease and grace. Uh, and this is what uh, the cards want Sagittarius you to know. Uh, my guardian angels as well said, uh, that we wanted Sagittarius to receive this. Wow. And this is what you're receiving. And it's coming in for you tonight. Sagittarius. With the chariot. With the cancer energy. All around you. This watery energy. Uh, and it's coming with a sense of momentum. Uh, because you're using those passions, those drives, that willpower to uh, get into these riddles between the dark and the light questions in your mind. And you see the canopy over you. You're tapping into the stars to a new kind of mental constellation that's vibrating. So the movement is coming not based on the rains. There's no uh, sense of a pulling into the Sphinx, but you are being guided now, tonight, by the stars. And you're moving to a new triumphant destiny. You're moving with the guardian angel watching over you and centering this energy around you with grace and ease. So tonight, uh, with that chariot, the, you are going to see that if there's competition, fighting, uh, set, setbacks, internal conflict about whether you're moving forward or not. Trust, it's time to have ease and grace. There's no need to be uh, energetically in conflict. You have decided how you're going to move with this transportation forward. Uh, take that energy of cancer and to feel into the vibration as we drive with the rubber hits the road. We have to have that feeling of how, you know, when we're driving a car, how it drives, how it feels. And if there's conflict uh, with your peers or with a group of um, people like you or that are competing with you, you're going to move forward with triumph because you've worked on this with the foundation of uh, this night of pentacles is of the earth and came in for you a Sagittarius. That could be partially helping you to say you might have been slow and steady, loyal, uh, disciplined uh, to the duty of planting your seed, uh, moving forward with momentum, but the slow momentum that is like the surge of something growing underneath the ground. And now the chariot is going to move forward because you're uh, kind of getting a sense of how to move your ship forward, even if it's fighting and competing, because you're getting some intelligence now of knowing how to think about your life, how to think about 
this situation with ease and grace because you're using intelligence. You're not just uh, going out off half cocked. You're thinking through it. You're getting um, the authority. You could be talking to a lawyer or to a doctor about something or to a professional person that is involved in your situation in some way in helping you move forward without too much friction. Because ease and grace is about flowing, it's about going with the grain, not uh, fighting, not going against the grain. And it's coming with the crown because you have worked hard on this passion, this energy, this intuition that you knew was right for you. And maybe it has been a burden, maybe you've taken on a too much of the competition and need to back up a little bit and to receive from your crown some sense of the guardian angel watching over you come to completion. And you're coming to that. And you're coming to it, don't give up yet, Sagittarius. You're almost there. Tonight might be the night to see that you have made it home to safety, the finish line. You're almost to whatever this uh, work you put out, a service, um, a product, uh, some energy that you're uh, creating. You're putting it toward an audience of uh, people who will be clients, who will be connected to your work. And you've worked hard for that, um, but you're waking up uh, to something that you maybe thought would never come, but an announcement, something shocking. You could have been just uh, moving uh, forward uh, and then suddenly you went into someone's house and you were uh, totally blown away with a wake-up call about a situation you never thought could happen. And it's coming with a guardian angel who protected you over this announcement, but something uh, had to come from the dead. These are coffins uh, that you might not, because they're on the waters, on the unconscious. You're seeing them, you're waking up, you're choosing a new path, and the new path is uh, the world. Well, I've done a couple of readings and the world keeps coming up in various decks because closure, completion, a new reality, an adventure, a movement forward, the transportation um, of the soul to get going toward completing a new, des a new uh, destiny completing an old, the new destiny comes, but there's completion to begin, to announce, to reveal, to wake up to who you truly are, to let the burden go, to find that ease and grace and that um, guardian angel helps you because the tower came from your environment. Someone is letting you know that uh, their situation is not easy. It came down quickly. It could have been a shock. And the wake-up call could have been part of this shock of tower moments. Uh, a blessing in disguise came from your environment. The crown was knocked off about an illusion you might have had to wake up to. And it's coming with the hope and fear of the empress. This is a Taurus energy, Sagittarius. Horus, earth, mother, earth mother, mother and child, beauty, connection, growth, nurturing. That's all in the hope and fear realm that you're waking up to, having to see this is a new life. You're closing out this collapse, this uh, structure that did not last around the mother, around the empress. And now the Empress is taking her true command of your situation with beauty, with love, uh, with fertility. And the final energy, uh, Sagittarius, wow, is uh, the Queen of Wands and death. Well, death came, this end came, this judgment came. You woke up. And when you wake up to something that needed to come to an end, it's going to bring a wake-up call, but it's going to bring you a lot of beauty, 
a, a lot of a sense of production, intuition, insight into how the earth works when you receive. These are cards of receiving, the growth of the sunflower, the in psychic abilities. But the empress, she is of love, that psychic ability that love brings, that passion brings, uh, that, that brings to the movement forward, to our true energy where we need to move, where we are uh, guiding um, our ship, so to speak, our chariot. And Sagittarius, that's coming for you with this cancer energy. You're knowing you've worked for it. You may be fought and been conflicted, uh, but you stood your ground and you came to completion because you knew it was true and right. You talked to the professionals. You got that right advice. And you did that so your queen of wands with psychic abilities, intuition, confidence, you're very attractive at this time and confident to go forward and wake up and know the truth of the situation. Let the past go, move to a new destiny. Let it all come to completion. And you know you can because you're sitting on the throne to nurture your growth, your feminine energy. This is the divine feminine. And you're closing out an old cycle to receive whatever needs to come down is bringing you a blessing in disguise. The guardian angel came to oversee this reconstruction, this revelation, this enlightenment, this clarity, this sudden uh, revelation. And when it came, ease and grace is the answer and it's coming for you now, my dear Sagittarius. Right now, when you receive this, take this ease and grace as you go into your dream tonight. Take it peacefully. Feel that guardian angel uh, around you. And when you do, the dream will reveal the answer to whatever needed to come down. So a revelation, a truth could be revealed. And so it is, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for participating in this evening reading and uh, sending you so much love. Please subscribe, leave me a comment and thumbs up and sending that energy right back to you in this interconnected field as we go into this lucid dream tonight. Bye-bye.